The words of this life with Apostle Grace Lubega. When the church is born, Rome had not imagined what the church was going to be like. Because when Jesus Christ was walking alone on this earth, they thought he was just one fellow walking through and his days were numbered and it will pass. And indeed, when they had the crucifixion on the hands of his own people, they knew that was the end of Jesus. But scripture tells us that when Jesus is raised from the dead, he gives power to his own. We see 3,000 men come into Christ on the day of Pentecost in Acts 2 when they were being filled by the Holy Spirit. An unpredictable phenomena started taking place in Jerusalem, in Israel, and all around. And it was so of the anointing that was undeniable, the experiences of the power of God that were evident in the lives of people. And now that becomes a very hard life for the Roman to understand. The Rome now is asking, how are we going to have control over these people? But also, the Pharisees have a problem. They don't know how to deal with this new sect that has come on, and it's moving so fast and it's through that that then a persecution happens toward the church and then we start to see the brethren being thrown into prisons they tell them be it known to you that we do not want to hear you speaking about the name of Jesus or preaching in that name but as they were gathered as brethren in fear they made a prayer and I love how Peter and John pray they say Lord these people are threatened they have put us in prison cells they have even commanded us not to preach in your name but look at those threatening and give us boldness. And in giving us boldness, stretch forth your hand and heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child. The church right now that has actually advanced years would even speak this way and say, we thank you for the boldness that we receive in this period because we are persuaded that you're going to stretch forth your hands to heal the sick, to do all manner of signs, miracles, and wonders in the name of your Holy Child. They prayed for more boldness, that God will give them a boldness by the justification, the vindication of the Spirit. And for more of this, join us every Thursday at Umelugogo from 5pm to 9pm. Finero, make manifest.